It's another segment of the Wine Challenge, but this time in central Hong Kong. I'm visiting Watson's Wine, the top wine retailer in the city, meeting with buying director Jeremy Stockman, and he's putting together four tastings, Italy, Australia, New Zealand, Bordeaux. Of course, the challenge, show me a number of outstanding wines, 90 points or more, that are 500 Hong Kong dollars or less. Let's see if you can do it. So what's our first wine then? So we're starting with New Zealand Pinot Noir. Great. Mixed vintages, mixed regions. Well, you're a big fan of New Zealand. I am too for Pinot Noir, no? Great fan. Outside of Burgundy, probably the most exciting region in the world for Pinot Noir, consistently. And really balanced, beautiful wines yes. like Burgundy. Yeah. Light and fruity, but with quality. Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, right away it has a sort of smoky, yes. bacon, Burgundian nose to yes. it. Beautiful. Quite ripe, too. Whoa. What I like about that right away is, is how fresh and clean and delicate it is. It's not a big, jammy yes. wine. It's got some delicate red berry fruit in there, but lovely acidity, great balance. Was, what was, was there a particular reason why you chose this wine in terms of style or, or...? Yeah, for me it wasn't obvious sweet fruit. It was more balanced, more savoury, a little bit in style. Because sometimes some New Zealand Pinot Noirs can be really more fruit forward, almost a clawing sweetness to it. And sometimes too oaky. Really good, delicious. I'm 91 points on that. Yes. Let's see what it is. So this is a 2009 from Marlborough. From Marlborough. And it is Dog, dog Point. Point. And Dog Point's better known for Sauvignon Blanc. People forget about the Pinot Noir. Indeed. It's so famous for its normal Sauvignon and its Section 94. But this proves that they can make Pinot very well as well. Well, beautiful. I was just there uh, about a month ago. And I was really impressed with the Pinot, so it's great to taste it again. Great. Well done. Morning again. Color. This this seems like a wine from uh, um, a cooler area, more minerally, like central Otago. Correct. Oh, good. <laughs> and a younger wine. But I like that about New Zealand Pinot Noirs too. You really do see the distinct regional differences. Yes. The terroir between Otago, Marlborough, and the regions of North Island are not quite different. This has more red fruit than the first one. Raspberries, blackberries, and then this sort of flinty, minerally mm. undertone yes. with a creamy acidity to it at the same time. It's lovely. It's a 2011, so it's a very young wine, but already wow. it's quite complete. And do you find a lot of New Zealand Pinots, are, they're beautiful to drink young, but they age yes. too, no? We don't see them age very often because people drink them. They don't make very much, but they do age very well. Mm. Wow. And there's a slight austerity to it as well. I like that. Which I think is a sign of the producer. I know who the producer is. I'm clearly 90 points on this. I, I like the first one a little bit better because it had that more sort of softer, earthy, bacon character. This one is really brighter, fruitier, but at the same time it has that austerity that yes. I really like. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the, the, the more entry level from this producer. Okay, so what's this wine then? So this one is Felton Road. Oh, of course, I drink that all the time. And this what's is the retail on that? Cornish Point. Uh, 448. Oh, I just bought two cases of this the other day. <laughs> well, no, no hurry to drink that. That's <laughs> fine. And the dog point was 385. Okay, wow, that's great. Well, I can't wait to try the next one. Okay. And the third wine, screw cap again. But do you have a particular area that you're a fan of more than like Central Otago or, or Martinborough or 
I think that each region has its uh, quality producers. I think probably Otago is the most consistent region, but Martinborough has got some beautiful yeah, peanuts. Um, and the Wiper, as well as Marlborough can be a little simple and fruity, but Dog Point proved how well you can be yeah. in the region. This one it has almost a sort of cola. I don't know, how would you describe it? What's the leafy? Yeah, yeah with a, a slight anise hint. Yeah. Is that the terroir, you think, or is that more the, the wood? What do you think? Probably the wood, I would say. 2009 again. Interesting, this one. This is rounder, mm. a little bit fruitier. Even reminds me almost of a Sonoma Coast wine mm. from California, you know, because there's a little bit more fruit to it. Yes. But then it holds back just just enough. You know, it didn't go the full jam. It yes. sort of has a slightly jammy impact, then goes nice, dr dry, and yeah. austere. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Now it's opening up too. There's smoke, dried flowers. One thing I've noticed about screw caps, I think that all screw cap wines benefit from decanting. So these I agree with you. They've just been opened, they've not been decanted. A bit of air on these, oh, and they right. open up. This wine, I don't know, I, I, as it's opening, I almost like it the best of all mm. of them, because it's very complex. It almost has the bright fruit of the fountain, and then that earthy mm. character of the dog points. The earthy just comes through all yeah. the back, doesn't it? The more, the more it gets some air in it. Well, maybe I should have bought two cases of that <laughs> instead. <laughs> As well as. <laughs> okay, right. I'm 92 on that. Yeah. That's my favorite wine yeah. in the tasting. And it's the cheapest. Really? Oh my God. $318. Wow. Full retail. And this is Pegasus Bay. Oh, sh okay. She's a great winemaker. Indeed. Indeed. She, she goes to Burgundy all the time. Yes. She really knows yeah. her stuff. What's yeah. her name again? Lynette? Do you remember? Maybe really. it's on the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't recall that. <laughs> no, it's not on here. Anyways, well, that's great. Yeah. That is really great. Well, you did it. A beautiful wine. All clearly over 90 points or 90 or above. So, good job. Shows how well New Zealand can make peanuts. Yeah.